Welcome back to Billionaire with Vidans. In this YouTube channel, I am regularly making a video related to free web hosting, free domain, free soft domain name, AdSense problem, and many other topics. Today in this video, I am going to teach you how you can get edu mail for absolutely free. From which you can get free GitHub account, free Azure hosting, free cloud hosting, and lots of things that can be get from edu mail. Do not skip any part of this video. If you just watch the name of this website and you start from yourself, then you will not get any edu mail for free. I will teach complete process step by step by break down it so that you can understand it easily. There are few steps that must be follow to get free edu mail. Now let's get started how you can do it. First of all open any internet browser. Before visiting to this website you have to install VPN on your device if you are from outside of the USA. For this you can use any of VPN and connect it to USA. Now after successfully connected VPN of US server, you can proceed for further. First of all visit the URL eservice.icc.edu. Make sure to type correct URL. After the human verification, the website will be open for you. There are some more websites that you have to visit to complete this process. So I will make a list of these websites and add the link for these websites in the description of this video. You can check it from description if you got any confusion on spelling of these websites. But before going to this process, open another tab. Now search this keyword on Google and you will find this how to apply. Click on this. You will see two options. First time FAFSA application or FAFSA application. Now you have to go through this first time. Click on this apply for FSA. Now click on this get started and in the next tab you have to fill out personal information. Now I am going to use a generated address for a person, address generator. Now here you will get all the information. Here is the first name, last name. You can use on detail too if you are from the US. Now we are a date of birth. In the social security number, you can add this. Now click on this continue. Then step 2 will be screen on your display. Now here make a username. You can use your name too. Do not include this space. Give an email address. Here you have to give your own email address to verify email address. Do not skip any part of this video. If you skip the sum of the part, then you are not going to get this video mail. So do not skip any of this. Every steps are equally important to get video email. Now create a password. You must include a uppercase or lowercase or number in 8 plus characters. Now confirm this password and click on this continue. 
Now in the contact information, you will get all the address from here. Make sure to you insert this correctly. You will get all the necessary detail on this website. Now here you can use your phone number if you are from US. In also you cannot use a phone number for multiple app as a ID. You can get temporary numbers from here. Select from US. Copy this. And enter here. Now confirm your phone number. And leave a check mark on this. Yes, I agree to use my phone number for account access. You can also add an alternative phone number and click on this continue. Now in step 4 communication preference, you can choose email. You can select your language, I will choose it English as default and click on this continue. Then here you will get some of the question. It will be used to recover your password. Now give this question's answer and submit it. Now here you will see all the information that you had provided and get option to verify. If you find some of this mistake then you can correction it and click on this i agree to fafs term and condition and click on this continue now go to your email box and verify your email address click on this verify you will get a mail from us department of education then here is the code now go back and paste it here and click on this continue. Now you can use an Authenticator app. You can do this later. You can also do this later. Now click on this continue. Here you will get your backup code. You store it somewhere. You will need this code. Leave a check mark on. I have stored this backup code somewhere safe. And now click on this continue. Our account has been successfully created. Now go to return to login. And login here with your email address and password. Now for the two step verification you, you have to enter your code. Click on the send code. And now check your email address and paste your two-step verification code here. And paste it here. Now click on this submit. Now you have to accept this term and condition. Before click on this accept, first of all read all this and click on accept. Now you can see here I am successfully logging here. Click on this I agree to federal student a term and condition and click on continue. Now again click on this continue. Welcome to your new student aid dashboard. Review your checklist and view other tools that can help in your student journey. Close this pop up.
Now all the things are setting up and if you go back to your email you had get FSA ID created successfully mail. And if you see here full account access can take off to 3 days they will verify your information and you will get another mail and you will get fully access from where you will get edu mail also then after getting edu mail you just have to visit this eservice.icc.edu and you can log in through your student email from here You will get your email address and you have to enter it here and you can log in it successfully. If you love this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this video and also press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update. You can also check similar videos for free RTP, free hosting, free AI tools and many other in this YouTube channel. This much for today I will see you in my next video bye bye have a good day.